My name is Eric Harris, and this is my final project for EDPR 8111. Dr. Denise Windsor submitted on May 4, 2021. The purpose of this final project is to use the study of early childhood development in a real world application. Course material has led to the exploration of the link between childhood development and poverty. Exposure of this link presents a solution that could close poverty gaps and open a pathway to the permanent elimination of poverty. On October 25, 2020, the parents of six-year-old Sam White posted a video of a rap that he and his father created. The video was entitled, You Can Be ABCs. You ready, Sam? Yeah. We tell everybody what they can be when they grow up. They can be anything. You ready? Yes. Let's go. You can be an A. You can be an architect. Sketch a building to kiss the sky. You can be a B. You can be a biochemist. Make medicine and save lives. You can be a C. Computer or software developer. Or programs and systems and files. You can be a D. You can be a dentist. Because everybody loves to smile. You can be an E. You can be an engineer. Solve problems of all kinds. Chemical, mechanical, electrical. Use the power of your mind. You can be an F. You can be a firefighter. Fight fires in red trucks. You can be a G. Guess your enterologist. Do a problem in the gut. You can be an H. Hospital administrator. Hospitals need leaders. You can be an I. Intelligence officer. You have the all kinds of people. You can be a J. You can be a judge. Help people who see justice. You can be a K. Kindergarten teacher. Those kids are young and restless. You can be an L. You can be a lawyer. Cause people need to know their rights. You can be an M. What well, without developer? Like the people that made Fortnite. You can be an N. You can be a nurse. Medical kids for the masses. You can be an O. Optometrist for people that need eyeglasses. You can be a P. Paramedic for medical emergencies. You can be a Q. Quantum physicist. Particles and energy. You can be an R researcher. Find cures for disease. You can be an S stockbroker. You get to work with money. You can be a T truck mechanic. Trucks are critical transportation. You can be a U university president. Well, the future of your nation. You can be a V video game designer. Or Xbox and PlayStation. You can be a W web developer. It's an online occupation. Now take that S. You can be an own boss. an impact on the world. And with that Y, you can be your own boss. Tell me, boy and girl. And with that Z, Z is a stride. You can reach the sky if you try. Just don't be a Z. Just don't be a zombie. And let the world pass you by. According to his mother, Sam began reading by the age of two, which is such an appropriate age to begin formal education. As an educator, my first thought was, how do we get more Sams? And that it was my job to create more Sams. According to his mother, Sam began reading at the age of two, which is such an appropriate age to begin. By the age of two, children enjoy being with other children. They mimic mock adult behavior. They can follow multi-step directions. They sort shapes and colors, and they can also make rhymes. Two-year-old behavior is foundational for phonemic awareness. Decoding letters and sounds is the earliest level of reading. Early childhood development theory supports early education. Examples include Yuri Brofenbrenner's biological theory of development, which is the concept that development is influenced by interactions. Albert Bandera's reciprocal causation model is the concept that, concept that development is the result of the relationship of the individual, the environment, and the individual's behavior. Lev Vygotsky's social cultural theory is the concept that development is contingent on the community and the understanding of language. Jean Piaget's cognitive development theory states that changes to the cognitive process and abilities are based on actions and external stimuli. George Miller's information processing theory is that information is encoded into the brain and it is contingent on learning experiences. A common link in early development theory 
is that relationships are the most critical facilitator of development. What hinders us, specifically in Memphis, from having more SAMs in our schools? In Memphis, 26,000 children under the age of five live in poverty. Investopedia defines poverty as the state or condition in which a person or community lacks resources and essentials for a minimum standard of living. Poverty is the crux of our preschoolers' development. The U.S. government has provided safety nets to limit the effects of poverty. Safety nets are more commonly known as welfare. Welfare provides housing, food, and medical assistance. But welfare does not provide the basic necessities such as transportation, clothing, and diapers. Poverty disrupts social structures and cognitive function. Recent science reveals poverty's disruption facilitates the negative effects of Adverse Childhood Experiences, or ACEs. ACEs are traumatic experiences that occur before the age of 18. ACEs reduce neural development. The developing brain creates about 700 synaptic connections per second in infants. The brain achieves 80% growth by the age of 3 and 90% by the age of 5. Trauma, or its presence, paralyzes brain matter growth. One in four children exposed to ACEs become teens and adults at risk for increased drug use, promiscuity, hypertension, cancer, diabetes, and other impairments. The 38109 zip code of Memphis, Tennessee provides a slice to examine poverty and its effects on children's development. The zip of 46,000 residents has over 7,000 residents or 27% that live in poverty. The children of 38109 survived a mortality rate of 111 deaths for every 100,000 births. The crime rate of impoverished communities is 69% above the national average. In the 38109 zip code, there were 200 ACEs-related crimes in 2018 that directly affected children. These were things such as vandalism, theft, and assault. A 2018 survey of a middle school in the 38109 zip code revealed that 46% of the students either use drugs or were raised by a parent that does. The 2019 unemployment rate for the 38109 zip was 13.3% as opposed to 4% for the entire city of Memphis. ACEs also creates a fiscal burden negatively affecting our economy. The CDC estimates that $124 billion was spent on ACEs-related issues such as welfare, lost productivity, and criminal justice. Poverty-induced ACEs can be countered by doing things such as developing routines and being consistent, encouraging curiosity via learning experiences and processing, supporting expression of feelings are all emphasized in preschool and counter the effects of ACEs. The counter is crucial. Vocabulary at the age of three is a predictor of academic success and healthy lives. Vocabulary at the age of three is a predictor of reading levels of third graders. Why is third grade so important? 70% of the incarcerated read below the fourth grade level. Third graders not on grade level are 13 times more likely not to graduate high school. Third grade students at grade level are five times more likely to achieve college and career readiness. In Memphis in 2017, the measures of academic progress or the MAP assessment revealed that 58% of kindergartners began that year below the national normed reading score. 69.1% were below the national normed math grade level score. Kindergarten success equals third grade success. Third grade success equals lifelong success. Our babies starting in school at age two would exponentially increase cognitive and social development as well as boost our economy. The Economic Poverty Project researched that a 10% reduction in the percent of poverty in an area results in a $7,000 per year raise in adult wages for the children that are exposed to that reduction. This project will eliminate the burdens of child care and the stress of the child's development of impoverished families. Families will then experience stability, lowered anxiety, and lowered stress. We will end the isolation of poverty by attacking its grip 
during the early stages of development, reconnecting our families to pathways of fulfilling their hopes and dreams. It is my hope that this pathway leads to the end of poverty. This is the end of this presentation.